بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أفضل المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سنس when angry anger is the one of the worst things considered in Islam anger is the sign of weakness and not the strength Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam once asked to his companions Thus, do you know who the strong person is? His companions guessed and replied, the one who can defeat someone in a wrestling contest. But Prophet Muhammad said, no, but the strong person is who has a control on his anger. Controlling the anger is the one of the greatest things considered in Islam because it prevents a person to avoid other sins that could be led by anger. Being angry is like being drunk. In both cases, we don't know what we are doing, hurting ourselves or someone else. And in the end, we repent. There are ways prescribed by the Prophet ﷺ to controlling one's anger. Number one, Seek refuge in Allah by saying, A'udhu billahi mas shaitan rajeem. Changing to one's physical position. If you are standing, then sit down. A person should remain silent, not speaking at the time of anger. People say things that destroy relationships and may take years to repel. Breaking one's heart is very easy, while joining the heart is very difficult. Damaging a relationship can be done with one word, while building relationships may in some cases take years. That's why it's the best to refrain from speaking when anger and to wait until the anger subsides and speak in a calm manner. So that the person doesn't regret what he is saying. Also make a wudu because anger is from shaitan and shaitan has been created from the fire. And the way to extinguish the fire is to use water. Also dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka khashyat fil ghaybi wa shahada wa as'aluka kalimat al ikhlas fil rida wa al ghadab. O oh Allah, I ask you to grant me fear of you in private and in public. And I, I ask you for the word of truth in times of satisfaction and anger. Also following the advice of the Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, the Prophet said, don't become angry. Remembering what Allah has promised to the rights who keep away from the causes of anger. Remind yourself of the fruits of controlling anger. Anger displeases Allah and pleases a shaitan. There is also the kind of anger which is praiseworthy, the kind of anger that is a complete part of our deen without which one's iman is weak. This anger for the sake of Allah. For every sunnah being desecrated, one should feel angry. For every bid'ah being introduced in the name of ibadah, one should feel angry. For every halal being shunned, and every haram being adapts, 
one should feel angry. Every time your kids lie, or your family doesn't woke up in Fajr, or your wife or your daughters goes out without hijab, one should feel angry. This is the angry Allah loves it because it's for the sake of Allah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. استغفرك ربي واتوب اليك اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبد الله ورسوله والعصر ان الانسان في خسر الا الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر